Hello, highly esteemed viewers. Welcome to our mathematics tutorial for today. In today's tutorial, we are going to consider this Olympiad exam question. We are asked to solve for x if 0 to 0 0.01 to the power of x is equal to 11. Now, this is a simplified uh, question and we want to solve it together. If you are new here, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also remember to subscribe to my channel. And also remember to also press the bell icon. It's very important because it will always notify you uh, when our latest daily maths content is, uh, is uploaded. Thank you. Now let's solve this question. This question is very tactical. All we need to do to solve this question, the first thing we need to do is to simplify this part. Uh, we have to change that part to fraction, knowing that if we don't change that to fraction, we'll find this solution very difficult. So let's see how we we'll change that part to a fraction, and then we'll simplify this equation. Now, if we we'll take that apart and change that to fraction, we'll have a 0 0.01, right? And that will be equal to 1 divided by 100, right? Now, this can be equal to 1 divided by 10 to the power of 2. And this can still be equal to 10 to the power of minus 2. So, we'll bring that to this part. So, we'll have a 10 to the power of minus 2, negative 2 to the power of x, and that will be equal to 11. Good. Now, the laws of logarithm indices allows us to multiply these two so that will give us 10 to the power of negative 2x equal to 11 right good so at this point all we will want to do is uh, we want to take the log of both sides so we'll take the log of we want to take the log of uh, 10 to the power of minus 2x equal to log of 11. Now, according to the law of logarithm, this will always come over here. So we'll have a minus 2x log of 10 equal to log of 11. So I want you to also to note that. Uh, any log without an assigned uh, an assigned base is always in base 10. So that means these logs are all in base sign because within base 10, we didn't assign any any base to them. So we'll have log of 10 to base 10. That's what we'll have here to be equal to. This will also be log of 10 to base 10, but we'll leave it that way. And this will now give us Remember, log of a to base a is always equal to 1. So that will give us 1. So this left hand side will give us negative 2x to be equal to log of 11. That's what we are going to get over there. So we we'll find the value of x, we we'll divide both sides by minus 2. So our x will be equal to 1 divided by negative 2 log of 11, right? That is what that part is going to give us. So having gotten this point, the next thing we need to do is to uh, simplify. Now, according to the log of logarithm, x will be equal to, this will be log of 11 to base 1, the 11 log minus uh, 1 divided by 2 to base 11. Remember, that can be possible because the law of logarithm allows this to come to become a power, just as it allows it to become a, a multiple of that value of logarithm. So if we have that, we can simply simplify that. Now let's take this aside. We we'll have uh, 11 to the power of minus half. This can be equal to 1 divided by 11 to the power of half, right? 
if we simplify that well. And remember, this can also be equal to 1 divided by square root of 11, right? So you see, now let's look at this value. If we take the rational, let's rationalize this value. If we rationalize that value, we'll have r root 11 multiplied by r root 11, but multiplied by 1, right? Divided by root 11 multiplied by root 11. That's rationalization. So root times root will give us 11. So we'll have r root 11 divided by 11 as the value for that. So if we bring that in here, if we factor that in here, we're going to have uh, x to be equal to log of root 11 divided by 11, right? So this will give us our x to be equal to 1 divided by 11 uh, log of what? Log of root 11. So let's simplify that. If we simplify that, our x will be equal to, now we're going to look at log of let's take the actual value of these two things square root of 11 let's look at our calculator square root of 11 will give us what uh, square uh, square root of 11 the value of square root of 11 will give us uh, 3.3166 right that will give us 3.3166 so we'll have uh, 3.3 one six six divided by eleven. So if we divide that, we we'll have our x to be equal to log of this divided by eleven will give us what? Let's establish that. That's divided by eleven. The solution divided by eleven. If we establish that, is going to give us a zero point three zero one five good so we have a log of 0 0.3015 so let's take the log of 0 053015 let's take the log of 0 053015 so log of 0 0.3015 is going to give us what that will give us a negative 0 0.5207 so negative 0 0.5207 that will give us equal to negative 0 0.5207 so that is the solution for the value of x now i want us to check if that solution is absolutely correct now remember the question we are giving. We are giving the question x 0 0.01 to the power of x equal to 11. We are meant to know that this is equal to 11. So if we apply the value of x here, we're going to have our 0 0.01 to the power of negative 0. 5207. Is it going to give us 11? Now let's find out. Let's go back to our online calculator. If we go back to our online calculator. Let's look at uh, let's look at 0 0.01 to the power of negative 0. 0.5 207. What will it give us? Wow, 11.001, which is approximately 11. Point. That will give us 11. Point, 11. 11.0001, which is still approximately uh, 11. So we see that this solution to the value of x, negative 0 0.527 is absolutely what? All right. So this, how far, this is what I have for you for today.
Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share this video with friends and colleagues. And remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified Maths Olympiad solution video. Thanks and bye bye for now.